So on this episode of asking my wife questions <laughs> that hopefully inspire uh, uncomfortable yet honest moments. Mm. <laughs> on this day of Good Friday, as we fast uh, in the name of Jesus and for a different reason than we might usually be fasting as intermittent fasters. How is this day different for you, especially in relation to some of the other times of great fasting in our life, specifically and not uh, limited to the great carrot? How is this different? <laughs> yeah, and could you explain for people what the great carrot was? Okay, first, the explanation of the, what we call the time of the great carrot was when we were um, living in Idaho and we were living on and caring for Jacob's family property that was out in the woods of North Idaho. Beautiful property with orchards, gardens. And it was... Um, Anyone who lives in Idaho knows that sometimes there's some long, hard winters. And it was one of those long, hard winters that uh, just kept on snowing and snowing us in. And so we weren't able to get out and, um, you know, we're literally off like a, a uh, what's it called? A log road. So we were, you know, back quite a ways off the freeway. Anyway, we couldn't... Uh, we couldn't get out and go like into town and go buy food and supplies and stuff. And so we were like sort of working through our stores of pro vegetables and stuff that we had frozen and dried and the root vegetables that we had harvested from the garden. And we were like, <laughs> it, was, it was a couple of weeks. And, you know, we had run out of wood. <laughs> we hiked out in the snow and cut down a tree that was already fallen tree cut it up into uh into you know usable wood and threw it on our sled and <laughs> sledded it back to the house and also you know survived for a few days there on carrots <laughs> because it's what we had left literally you know the root vegetables last forever and we had carrots we may have had some, like, Jerusalem artichokes or something like that. But anyway, we call the time of the great carrot because essentially we were fasting other than the moments when we got to eat carrots. And then, you know, neighbor, our plows came through and snow slowed down and we could finally, finally got out. However, it was, um, you know, it was intermittent fasting unwillingly, un unintentionally. We certainly didn't intend it. And so, but now... Today, we're fasting. It's Good Friday. We're part of a worldwide, um, we've joined a worldwide fast. And it's wonderful to be, it's, it's like being a part, it's being a part of something bigger than ourselves. And the purpose for the fast is bigger than ourselves. We practice intermittent fasting and the purpose for practicing that intermittent fasting is not necessarily bigger than ourselves. It's about uh, our, boosting our cells regeneration and our bodies being the healthiest they can possibly be in regenerating themselves and maintaining youth and um, so that we can do in this world what it is we wish to do through these wonderful amazing vehicles and this fast for good friday is different because it is about connecting to the light of jesus and the life of Jesus and the whole purpose for the celebration of Easter for those who uh, celebrate Easter, which is the rising, it's the victory. And so whenever I've fasted, not when I intermittent fast because it's only 18 hours, that's not that long, so you never really get to that point of where your mind over mattering it. Um, but with a 24 hour fast or a longer fast, which this one is, you know, you come to the point where your mind over mattering it, especially being, uh, I think, Easter weekend and, you know, commercials with 
peanut butter cup eggs and carrot cakes and all those other things that tempt every time the uh, that pang strikes of wanting to eat something. Um, instead, my attention goes to my breath. Like that's my source of life instead of that food, uh, which is the habit, the mental habit being that source of life and sustenance. Uh, when I fast and in a longer fast and now during this fast, my breath becomes my my source of life and nourishment and sustenance. And with that breath, I, because it's Good Friday, I connect to Christ in my, in my mind, in my thoughts. So as I breathe in, my mind goes to Jesus and the light and the love with every single breath. Um, and that's a powerful thing. And when we all do that together, it's an even more powerful thing. So grateful to be fasting. I'm enjoying this cup of coffee. I'm grateful not to be eating carrots. I'm grateful not to be eating carrots. <laughs> I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be healthy. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for um, the life and the example of Jesus that we may have a guiding principle by which to live and bless and not only live but thrive i mean what greater example of thriving is there than to beat death god blesses everyone